Something's going on down there. <laughs> Jody's got a cone back on. Friday, June 7th, 1940. As children back in Harwich, we would sit on Hapney Pier with gleeful anticipation and wait for the ships to roll into the harbor. It was the best of times. But I think I've never been more glad to see ships on the horizon than over the last few days. Military boats, fishing boats, dinghies, ferries, hundreds of them pouring through the cold waters of the English Channel for king and country to evacuate thousands at the very last minute. My men, what was left of them, were some of the last ones to leave. We had defended the outskirts of the city for days and retreated bit by bit while the Germans gained ground. Outgunned, outnumbered, and with nearly no ammunition or supplies, we tried to hold them back as long as possible. And I think, with the help of God, we work miracles. There are a lot of people owing their lives to my boys. Montgomery was in control of the Second Corps during the defense. I believe he did what he could, although, of course, everything descended into chaos. But his infantry tactics served their purpose here. I know I should feel defeated and humiliated now, but I don't. We managed to save over 300,000 soldiers in the last few days, and all of them have a fervent will to return and drive the Germans back. The little ships of Dunkirk will serve as a beacon of hope and a reminder that the common will of free people will eventually overcome all obstacles.